Fiona, how have you been coping? Because obviously we, we, we've gathered you, you've got, um, is it asthma? Is that the, the, the main condition? That's yeah, there? yeah, I have severe asthma. Um, it's been an interesting time, really. I've had it since I was a child. My whole family have it, one of those hay fever, asthma, eczema types, you know. Um, but it's never bothered me. The first time it bothered me was actually, funnily enough, um, the first pandemic that we had in 2009, the swine flu pandemic. And I caught swine flu and it triggered an asthma attack um, and pneumonia and I ended up in intensive care for 10 days. It must be really daunting, you know, especially at the beginning, you know, with the um, you, the warnings out there for those with asthma and underlying health conditions and, like, and things like that, with the uncertainty of not knowing what it was about the pandemic that was going to be um, a sort of a threat or a complication. Was that really worrying for you? I mean, did you reach out to your GP? I did, yeah. I mean, I think my GP hates me now. I've <laughs> so much. And, and how do you feel, uh, Fiona, about the vaccinations and things? Because you're almost, you're imminent, aren't you, in terms of on the list? I can't wait, yes. <laughs> I'm priority group six. Um, so any day now, I'm, I'm, I'm really hoping to get called up. I have always been somebody who truly believes in vaccines. I truly believe in science and medicine. And, you know, I think that is the best way to kind of, you know, look ahead to have a, a much brighter future and, and go back to normality. So, yeah, a massive believer in vaccines. And I really hope as many people as possible, you know, when they get called up for it, that they take it. Are we right in saying that you've got an underlying um, health condition you've had to sort of shield, particularly at the beginning of the pandemic? Well, I've been fortunate that we have our own firm and I have my own office, so I'm able to work um, in isolation. But yes, entirely shielding since March 2020. And because of me, the children are also shielding and my husband, the whole family have been really supportive of that. I guess as we get closer and closer to, to the vaccination period now, um, and I've been invited um, this week to um, get my vaccination, which I'm a little bit nervous about, but at the same time quite excited about because it means it's one step closer to seeing my mom and my siblings and the extended family that I miss. And Shivali, can I ask what, what it is that you're sort of nervous about in, in having a vaccination? Um, so initially, I read a lot about everything. I think when you have a health condition, you do. You just read whatever you can find. Um, and then I've read a few things that maybe think, oh, I'm not sure. It sounds like there's something around it which might not be safe or the ingredients. Um, and I read a lot of, um, sort of social media posts again where I felt a little bit nervous. Um, and then I actually spoke to some experts <laughs> and medics and others and the Diabetes UK email came through and they clarified on some of those myths and... Um, that I helped. Yeah, I think it's it's important that we now, you know, sort of move forward. And um, I'm hopeful that more and more people do realise how important it is that they they get their vaccination and how lucky we are that we're even able to access it. And just like this condition, like this virus. Catherine and I are not medical experts by any means, but if it's any consolation, we can wholeheartedly support you know having vaccinations. It's it's really really important. We've spoken to a lot of people about it, and um, you know the uptake's been been amazing so far. We've got to keep it going so that the, the younger generations also feel um, you know that uh, it's really important for them to have it. So it's great that you're you know Shivani, you're you, you know you're taking your time to kind of work it out and I've come to a conclusion that you know I need to do this because social media is awash sometimes with with lots of rumors and misinformation so we have to be a little bit careful who we who we believe and where we we get our information from but um especially for those who are clinically vulnerable as well it's so important that um that those vaccinations are done so good luck